welcome. Uh, my name is Lisa McNulty. I'm the producing artistic director of WP Theater, who is co-presenting this reading of uh, MJ Kaufman's Galatea tonight. And um, I'm excited to get the opportunity to talk to one of my favorite people on the planet, um, MJ Kaufman, um, about their play. And um, my name is MJ Kaufman. I'm the playwright for um, tonight's Galatea, which is inspired by another play called Galatea, written 400 years ago by a playwright named John Lilly. So MJ, what was it about this 400 year old play that drew you to it and made you want to take it on? Yeah, um, well, um, so John Lilly's play, Galatea tells the story of two young people who um, live in this village by the sea that's threatened with flooding. And so in order to avoid being flooded, the village every five years has to sacrifice a virgin to um, the god Neptune. <laughs> um, and these two young people, Galatea and Philida, are afraid of being sacrificed. So they dress up as boys and run away to the woods where they meet as boys and fall in love. Um, and so when I read that, I thought, wow, this is um, a trans love story set against the backdrop of a climate crisis. And I really fell in love with it. And it felt like the time that I'm living in now. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to adopt it. Had you known John Lilly's work before you write Galatea? No, I hadn't heard of him at all. Um, what happened was that I was um, working on the um, mobile unit project of the public theater. And so was this, um, Shakespeare scholar James Shapiro and we were hanging out together and he um, brought up this play and said, have you, do you know this play Galatea by John Lilly? It's, um, it, it has trans characters from an Elizabethan time. Um, and I was, I was so interested to hear that. Um, yeah. What was your favorite thing? So you're diving into this play. Um, what was your favorite thing to explore as you were, um, putting it into your own words in your own world? Um, I think that some of my favorite things to explore were sort of the different, um, the difference between the town and the woods, sort of like half the play happens in the town, half the play happens in the woods, and the woods is sort of this place where um, characters transform, they become more queer, they become more free, they fall in love more easily. Um, and um, in the town, um, it's sort of like they're, they're all living in fear of this God. And so getting to move back and forth between those worlds. And um, I was also just really inspired by John Lilly's language and imagery. Um, there was a lot of rhythms that I started using when I was working on it that were inspired by him and, um, you know, lines that had metaphors that that I really liked of his that I um, want to include. <laughs> I think I love about the play is that um, it feels entirely yours and yet it feels so, uh, that it echoes the play in ways that are so resonant and just underscores mm -hmm. that, um, uh, you underscores that, you know, immediate response you had to the play. I just feel like it's really exciting. I also love that the woods that you talk about, that it's like, that it's like a ray, I don't know, kids say rave anymore. I don't know. Yeah. It's a place where people go to have a good time. And it yeah. feels exciting and that kind of freeing, uh, the, a space where you can, uh, you, you can be free and you can discover feels um, so immediate in the play. I feel super excited about it. Um, yeah, I definitely thought that when I read when I read the first draft of like everything changes when they disappear into the woods, which is also something that happens in sort of in Shakespeare's plays, like in Midsummer Night's Dream or As You Like It, the characters, you know, they go into the woods and they become different people. They can, you know, all, it's, it's sort of and it's sort of like what happens in the woods stays in the woods, except in Galatea, it doesn't. So. It does not. Yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, no, I think it sits really beautifully in the tradition of the pastoral um, and that you honor that tradition as well as, you know, as well as putting it in your own words and space. Um, uh, now, we worked on the play together as part of uh, the 2018 Pipeline Festival. Yeah. Um, and I'd be curious, you know, that it's, it's 2021 now. Um, <laughs> we're in a very different space than we were in 2018. Um, and you had a process with an extraordinary cast. Are there things that you're, that this time is teaching you about the play? That's such a good question. Um, 
I think that it that you know, um, it's it's teaching me about like um, the difference between performance when you're live and performance when um, it's on Zoom. You know, you get this sort of like paradox of distance and intimacy. You're like close to someone and you're in their house and everyone is seeing the same thing. You know, when you're in a theater, you're all sort of scattered around. You you all have a different angle on it. Um, so it's a really different way in and in this play, you know. There's a lot of double casting. The characters um, transform. They play different genders, different ages, different. They're gods. They're humans. They're peasants. They're everything in between. And um, you know, watching that through this up close, intimate lens on on Zoom is new and different and exciting. Well, and you're working with the extraordinary Will Davis. Um, mm -hmm. What uh, you know? What has this rehearsal process been like with Will? What is Will showing you or teaching you about the play? Um. He's showing me how joyful and goofy the play is. Um, I think that's one of the things that I love about um, working with him is, you know, um, things that I think are 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 just lie and suddenly are um, jokes full of meaning and sparkling with, um, you know, laughter. <laughs> um, he just he just really um, pulls that all out and and lights it up. Um, so. That's really, really fun. <laughs> is there something, you know, we're all sort of occupying work and getting, you know, to experience work in this new way. Um, I feel like, is there is there something that you're particularly hoping that audiences will receive from tonight's live reading of Galatea? Um, I hope they receive a good time. <laughs> I hope they receive laughter and I hope they receive permission to um, explore a certain kind of fluidity in gender. That's amazing. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, MJ. Thanks, uh, I'm excited for tonight. Me too.